Welcome, in front of me is a Realme X2 Pro and today I'll show you how to enable and set up the Do Not Disturb mode. And to get started, what you want to do is pull down the notification panel and find the toggle somewhere in here. So for me it looks like it's right over here. Now once you find it, you want to hold the toggle and this will take us to the settings where it can quickly customize it. So at the top we have the enable now which will obviously enable it. Then below that we have a schedule. Uh, from here you can set up some kind of schedule so the Do Not Disturb mode turns on and off automatically on the given day of the week and the time. And then we have uh, silent media when Do Not Disturb mode is enabled. Uh, so if you want this, turn it on. Now below that we have um, exceptions for notifications, calls and messages. Now notifications obviously you can set up which kind of notifications can uh, be shown while do not disturb mode is enabled so check the ones that you want to see and disable all the ones that you do not want to see during do not disturb mode then allow messages from anyone contacts favorites or no one again select whichever one you want calls has the same options as you can see with a key difference here for calls and that ring for repeated callers so if someone calls us twice within a three minute period they will be able to get uh, to us basically bypassing whatever will be set right here so in theory you could have it set to no one and if they call three, uh, twice within a three minute period uh, they will be able to call us anyway now once you have basically enabled and set, set up everything that you want here you can simply leave this mode and if you're using the uh, schedule then you don't really need to do anything apart from wait for the time that it's supposed to be enabled at uh, but if you want to enable it yourself, all you need to do is find the toggle, click on it, select turn on, and there we go, it's now in do not disturb mode. Now if you choose to enable it manually, just keep in mind that you will also have to turn it off yourself. So to do that, go back to the toggle, tap on it again, and voila, we're now completely off. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.